Hi, this is Rick, Vintage Oddball Cards. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Well, today I'd like to show you a few things. Uh, I went to a card show uh, last weekend, and uh, man, it was fun to go to a card show. My first card show since last year's Chicago National. I met up with some YouTubers, uh, Nate and uh, Eric. Classic Cards, uh, Aaron Davis, uh, Max, Maxa Jackson, uh, Big Harv, uh, really, really cool. Didn't have much vintage. This was in the San Francisco Bay Area in Hayward, California. But just fun to meet up with the guys. Uh, spend half the day there just shooting the bull and uh, picking up a few stuff. I also like to show you, so I picked up a few items and then I like to show you a couple recent pickups in the past couple months uh, and a photo of the day. Of course, got to show you a photo of the day. But let's start with uh, my giveaway win. And it, it's fairly heavy here. And I won this item from Day Blue Jacket 66. Look at this thing. Just beautiful. 1885 woodcut print. Harper's Weekly, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to have this uh, set up behind me when I do my videos so everyone can enjoy it. So thanks again, Dave, for that. As I set it down here. Um, now, at the, uh, at the card show, I picked up some, uh, just two cards. Uh, the first one I picked up was a 1969 rookie card of Lou I'll send her here, and this is in a 1.5. Beautiful, beautiful card for a 1.5. Uh, as many of you know, uh, this is a, cult, a tall boy. 1957-58, uh, Tops came out with uh, a basketball set. Didn't go over well. And they waited till now, 1969, to come out with another basketball set. And Cy Berger, the one that ran tops at the time, came up with the idea of, hey, let's change things around and test out a tall boy type set. So it was 99 cards in the set. The, he presented this idea to the NBA and the commissioner at the time was actually a collector. And so he agreed to say, hey, let's, let's do it. A lot of the teams did not go with this. They did not want to have their logo shown on the card. So you can see here that uh, Lou Alcindor is in his warm-up outfit. So they filmed him at a particular practice. Some of the other players have uh, their jerseys turned around so you cannot see the logo. But uh, just a beautiful card. 1.5. I'm usually not a big fan of the tall boy type cards, but as a, it got a great deal. So what the heck is beautiful 1.5. The other card I picked up uh, is a 1922 Nielsen chocolate. And this is a Canadian issued card, uh, Nielsen chocolate. It came out, um, in 22, but there was two types, type one and type two. Type one is very, very similar to the E120 American Caramel set. This one is, uh, it comes in brown paper, the type two. On the back, you're gonna see Nielsen Chocolate, Big League Bar. Now these are not Rare, I would say more scarce, especially if you're looking for a particular player. This is of Dave Bancroft. Uh, his nickname, as it says here, Beauty. That was his nickname. In the minor leagues, whenever his uh, one of his pitchers, uh, as he was a player in the minor leagues, but one of the pitchers on his team pitched a, a, a strike or a real nice ball, he would call it a beauty. So that... He was nicknamed Beauty. Uh, Hall of Fame player, 1971, the Veterans Committee. Uh, elected him in, uh, pretty much got in because of Frankie Frisch was on the committee. And he uh, 
pretty much swayed the voters into voting some of his friends. Although Dave uh, Bancroft was a, a defensive wizard, I guess you would call him, two-time um, World Series champ, batted 279 for his career, mainly played for the Giants, but uh, Nielsen Chocolate, 1922. Now, for some of the pickups in the past couple months here, first I got a very rare, yes, a very rare 52 Burke Ross Bob Feller. Just kidding. Just kidding. These are not very rare. So 52, but it's a beautiful car. I mean, um, man, you can get a, a good deal on some of the Burke Ross cards. So, uh, heck, I couldn't turn a, even it's in a BVG holder. I uh, can't turn it down. This is what the back looks like. Now I have some PSA 9 vintage cards. Really cool here. Kind of bundled them together here. 67 tops. Joe Torre. Look at that beautiful. Right out of the pack it looks like. Uh, you know, everyone knows Joe Torre, the manager of the Yankees. Fantastic player, catcher. Uh, 67 is my favorite 60s set. It's the first car, first set I built, um, first set I collected. One of my favorite cards in the 60s, 69 Tops Willie McCovey, Sporting News. This is a subset, 20 card subset. Uh, one of my favorites, just because I remember as a kid, man. You see the stars, you see sporting news, you say an all-star, guys on my team, you can't go wrong. So 67, you can see on the back here, basically the puzzle, would, it would be Yaz and Rose. One of my, again, Giants, favorite player, 65 tops, PSA 9, Gaylord Perry. And my least, least favorite uh Top 60s issue set is the 61s, but this is a beautiful card of the Baby Bull, Orlando Cepeda. Of course, the rookie card is the uh, the get is the Juan Marichal, and uh, plenty of the Hall of Famers in this particular set. Um, kind of bridges the gap, you know, in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. So really cool to have this one. Probably going to build some kind of display uh, with the PSA 9 60s cards. So really cool with that. And of course, I have the photo of the day. And this is a 1935 top or type 2 photo. And of uh, the great, of course, the great uh, uh, Beirut, Babe Ruth. And also a young 24-year-old Dizzy Dean. Uh, this is the first time they met in a game. Ruth, of course, playing in the National League for the first time. Um, Dizzy Dean, believe it or not, Ruth did not hit a home run in this game, but Dizzy Dean did. So again, this would be a Type 2 photo. It was from the original negative, but developed in the 50s. And you can see the stamping on the back here. So, uh, hey, thanks for watching. And, uh, man, I got a couple big boy items coming in from uh, two different auction houses. One I definitely overpaid for, but uh, I, heck, you know, you, if you want it, you want it. And the other one I probably underpaid for. So, kind of comes out on the wash. So, hey, thanks for watching. This is Rick Vintage Oddball Cards. Bye.